Hello, Leo. Elsie here to do a bonus read. Leo, you showed up on my bonus list. I'm so excited. Thank you so much for all your clicks and views, your thumbs up, all that stuff. I am so grateful for you. And you're on my list of a bonus read. So this is the way I do bonus reads, Leo. When you put in energy, I put in energy too. It's reciprocal for me. A lot of readers just do, you know, bonus reads for everybody. But for me, my energy is precious. And, you know, I, I always put the energy in that is given to me. And you gave me the energy. And here I am for you. Thank you, Leo. Um, so if you are brand new and you've never been here before, welcome if you are the person who has been in the comments giving the thumbs up viewing subscribing i appreciate you i'm doing this reading because of you um let's find out what's going on for you leo leo when i do a bonus read um i do not um and date or time the bonus reads my intention is it's going to be for the current energy or the future energy please keep in mind that this is not all going to happen around the corner these are readings without dates or times they can happen at any time and i've had people come back at me three years later and say hey that reading you gave me yeah, all that crap's going down right now. So it doesn't mean it's going to be around the corner. Take it as it resonates for you. Tell me about Leo. What's going on for Leo, please? Sun, moon, rising. Venus and Jupiter. All right, here we are. We've got the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. Why is that? The Wheel of Fortune is in the reverse. Ah, we have the Two of Pentacles. So I, I want to say that the Wheel of Fortune is in the reverse because I want to say that you feel stuck somewhere. You feel stuck somewhere and it feels like it's it has to do with finances leo um it feels like you you need to make a decision about something here and because you are are not willing to make the decision you're stuck i want to say that people are watching you struggle and i'm just going to say that people who watch you struggle are not your friends i feel like you are stuck in this place of yeah, it does feel like a little bit of misfortune because I'm reading the Two of Pentacles as a decision that you're not willing to make. The universe wants you to make it. We've got the figure eight here, right? We've got the, the infinity. It's like everything is yours infinitely, but you need to make a really important decision that you're not making. And I feel like you're stuck here because you won't make the decision. Tell me more about this. me about the two of pentacles what's the decision that leo needs to make in order to engage with the wheel of fortune in order to engage with the engage with divine timing and faded energies here we do have the strength card you need to find the courage to make this this decision that is your energy my friend look courage doesn't mean that you're not scared courage means that even though you're terrified scared or nervous or anxious you're going to do it anyway that's what courage is so i feel like you you really need to i think you know that the figure eight is showing up here twice right the infinity sign it's over the head of the person who's on the strength card it's also you know the try to keep you in balance here that's the universe right it's infinite energy that's the universe trying to keep you in balance i want to say you're doing a really good balancing job right now of trying to keep everything together tell me about strength courage to make what decision please Courage to walk away from something it's time for you to emotionally disengage with someone or something i want to say that there is um it might be since around the eclipse maybe in april april 8th i think was the eclipse since the eclipse i feel like you've been you've been thinking about pulling away from something or emotionally disconnecting with someone but i think it makes you so sad that you're not willing to make the decision like the thought of having to pull away emotionally disengage from something or someone and walk away completely walk away and have a new beginning that it makes you so sad that you haven't done you haven't made the decision yet but look she's looking in the cup right there's nothing in there she's like i it's like you you keep looking into the cup and and seeing that there's no emotion there but you refuse to walk away from something here we do have two cups that are spilt out right two cups on the ground that are spilt out that's love it feels like you are still stuck to a situation maybe it's a maybe you're separated not yet divorced maybe you're um, thinking about someone who you had engaged with and you're no longer engaging with but you can't seem to pull away emotionally i feel like it, it's making you sad yeah because i feel like you keep checking the cup to see if there's any emotions in there and there isn't 
I feel like it, you need to make a decision, a courageous decision, to finally just pull away emotionally and go about your business here. Queen of Cups. So for some of you, it could be your mother I'm talking about. It could be um, a mother who just doesn't support you emotionally. Someone who uh, would rather see you stuck than to do better than them. Um, it doesn't have to be a mother, but the Queen of Cups is always the first thing that I think of when I see the Queen of Cups, because this person is a mother or a father, right? The Queen of Cups can be masculine or feminine. She is feminine leaning, but also has masculine energy. We all do, right? Uh, plants, people, animals, we all have feminine and masculine energy combined. So the Queen of Cups, I feel, could be your mother, but it also could be a patri like a matriarch, could be your older sister or grandmother. Um, for others of you, I feel like it's a love relationship. So it does feel like you, you have a lot of love for somebody and you keep looking in this cup to see if there's any emotions left. But this person keeps showing you over and over that there is no emotions left. This person has, has pulled the top off of their cup and they've pulled out the fish. They've, it's like a, this person has become predictable. Um, and they're not willing to share. They're not willing to share at all. This person has poured out all of their affection because she's looking in the cup and the queen has a cup that she has on her lap here. The top is off and she's, it's like she's taking all the nourishment for herself. That's what it is. Tell me about this Wheel of Fortune in the reverse here for Leo. We do have the Knight of Wands or the Tower. Whew. And we have the Three of Wands. I'm going to say, uh, Leo, if you stay in the same place, the universe is going to move you. I feel like you've been stuck or stagnant here in this. It's like you can't, you're unable to share your emotions with anyone else. Look, there could be something really beautiful and wonderful in the future, but you wouldn't know it because you can't walk away. You can't disconnect. It feels like you have anxiety about that, disconnecting. But you must make this decision because if you don't make the decision with the Two of Pentacles, the tower shows up. The tower shows up when something is over, stagnant, done. We can't go back there. There's no way we can go back there. And uh, we can't leave it standing. It's something, it's an illusion you had built. So I want to say it was like a marriage you had built and it was never meant to stand the test of time. This was a karmic relationship. Or it's a relationship where I feel like you're stuck on someone with your emotions and uh, it feels like you, you can't pull away from it. But I want to say what's, what's going to happen. If this is already in the past, if I'm talking about a past relationship because the night is facing into the past, then I feel like the universe is coming in to throw a tower here um, because whatever it is that's going on here is got you stagnant and if you stay in the tower my friend and that tower implodes you're going down with it it's going to be terrible but i feel like you've been waiting waiting for something else to happen here waiting for this person to pull the plug waiting for this person to initiate the divorce waiting for them to say sorry if it's a mother or an older sister i feel like you're you're waiting for something you're never going to get and um the universe knows that you're stuck and so as mercy the universe will come in and throw a tower and i feel like it's coming in sooner than later because you're stuck and you're being held back from everything that's beautiful when the wheel of fortune is in the upright it's expansion it's it's excitement it's uh, abundance it's it's faded things it's divine timing but i feel like you have yourself stuck because you won't make that decision so i feel like the universe feels it's so important for you to move forward that they hit you with a with a tower which i feel is is full of mercy so tell me why you're waiting we've got the six of wands we've got the four of wands there it is yeah and the world card because I feel like this is this is either a serious relationship that's come to an end uh, if it's not a serious relationship then I feel like it was a marriage possibly or is a marriage um, and it's become really burdensome the six and four of wands are here uh, I feel like with the four of wands that the reason you can't let go of this person is because you're deeply deeply connected to them emotionally and you feel like they are like a soulmate deep soulmate connection and definitely it could be look we uh, not every soulmate we meet is going to be prepared for us. Some people just are not are not whole, right? And I, I want to say that you're dealing with someone like that, dealing with someone who who would choose to take it for themselves rather than give it to you, but you keep waiting for them to give it to you, and it's holding your whole life back. 
It feels like if you want to move forward here, my friend, the world card is here with the four of, of wands, and that tells me divorce. You've got to get out of that relationship. Are they living with you? you got to move them out. Are you married to them? It's time to close the chapter. And I want to say that it's time to close the chapter and walk through this new, this, this, it's time to bring things full circle. It's time to end it completely and walk through this new, um, you know, it's a milestone, right? It's achievement. It's time to walk through into the new, into the new world, into the new, which, because after the world card is the fool and that's the new chapter. You're holding yourself back from whatever's in the future. What's in the future, please, for Leo? We do have the Nine of Wands. So look, what's what's around the corner for you is, I feel, um, abundance, I want to say, what's around the corner for you, but I feel like you feel that there is way too much um, competition out there, that you can never win this race because there's way too much competition. But I want to say that the Nine of Wands is here and it's time for you to drop these burdens. You can drop them at the Nine. You don't have to wait for the Ten. The Ten is the end of the cycle. You don't have to wait. You can... But I feel like there is somebody here who's keeping you in this energy. And I feel like there's a difference of, of, of um, a difference of vibration. It looks like these two people are, one is a lot younger than the other. And I feel like um, you need some boundaries with this person. Because I feel like no matter, no matter what you find in love, this is always going to be a thorn in the side. It's almost like somebody keeps calling you back in and you keep you keep getting sucked back in again and it keeps ruining whatever it is that's coming up for you here. Even though there's competition for this person. This person has a lot of people um, in the DMs, but they keep calling you back in. I feel like you really need to work on the Nine of Wands. The Eight of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands is here. Instead of standing there looking at it, it's time for you to really work on it. It's time for you to really work on getting out of this wounded warrior energy here. Tell me about the tower, please. I think you're just going to wait it out and you're going to wait for the tower. But look, it's an upheaval and a change. The tower is a complete shit show. It's going to it's gonna damage more things than, it's, than, than you think. And we've got the temperance card here. We've got the Nine of Pentacles and we've got the Knight of Cups. I want to say that there is somebody here who is living high off the hog. Um, and I don't think it's you. I feel like, um, I feel like again, with temperance here, that you've been very patient in the situation. The thing is, is I feel like you're still, if this is a relationship or if it's a marriage that's ended, I feel like you still go back for the booty calls. I feel like you still, you still engage in passion with this person. We have so many wands here. You're still engaging in passionate things with this person, and that's why you can't let them go. Um, that's only for some of you, not all of you, of course. But I want to say that um, somebody here is a glutton. Like, I feel like the person who's got you who's got you stuck in this in this wheel in reverse here is someone who's a glutton. It's like they are somebody who you know this 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 knight on the horse is drinking what's in the cup. This queen here is taking the fish from the cup. It's like somebody is taking from you and not replenishing anything. Um, we do have the king of wands. They could be um, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. We have the sun, the magician. You're eventually going to see this person for who they are. Maybe you already do. I feel like you already do see them for who they are. This person feels like they're protected. It's almost like they feel entitled. They feel entitled to your passion. They feel entitled to the universe taking care of them. But I feel like you're going to have some sort of a breakthrough. Um, a breakthrough here with the magician energy that you realize that you always had all of the tools to get out of this. But it feels like somebody has you stuck. Tell me um, how this is going to resolve itself. Tell me what the outcome is, please. Tell me, give uh, Leo some advice, please. Advice for Leo. We've got the Seven of Swords. Look, this person is about to be caught in whatever lies they're telling you. They're about to be caught in their lies. You're about to see everything for what it is. The sun is here. And then you're going to use all of your tools to get the heck out of Dodge. But I feel like you're going to hang around and wait for the tower to fall. And it's going to be painful and awful. And you're going to realize that this person that you've been dealing with has been a glutton. That they have been um, partying. 
taking your money, using it. And maybe maybe this person has your children. They haven't been using it on their children. They've been using it to just party and have fun and be a glutton. But their time is coming because temperance is here with the tower. Their time is coming. Um, and the time is coming for this whole thing to fall to the ground. This person's been lying to you. Everything they say to you, please stop believing what comes out of their mouth. Whatever they are saying to you here is a lie. They're going to get caught in a lie that they're saying to you here. So it feels like this person is somebody who is who is a liar. They've been lying to you this whole time about money. Yeah, it does feel like that. I feel like you're the one that's supplying everything. And maybe you're the one who who is supplying everything for the kids if there's children involved but this person could be someone that you used to be married to that you keep going back to passion for and so you keep giving this person money to pay the rent to buy groceries to to do all that stuff and uh, they're taking advantage of you with this nine of cups energy here they're taking advantage of you and uh, you keep doing it because you're doing the the thing that is loyal right because you're incredibly loyal you're doing the right thing and you're incredibly loyal and this person keeps taking from you and you keep giving it to them it's putting you in a bad position yeah look at that you're holding on to the empress in reverse so the empress in reverse when the empress is in reverse they're a hollow shell this person is someone who looks great on the outside this person is super attractive you're probably very attracted to them and feminine or masculine but the empress in the reverse is somebody who you know has the beautiful suit or has you know goes and gets their hair done great tan beautiful nails but they have one marble rolling around on the inside they are shallow and hollow this person is in it for the money and they've got a hold on you and you're in your head about it they've got a really bad hold on you here and it's about financial things we've got the seven of pentacles i feel like you're going to walk away we've got the nine of pentacles i feel like you do want to become single We've got the two of wands, which tells me you're preparing to become single. So I hope that you are working on it already. It feels like with the ace of swords here that you've got something you've got to say. And the blinders have been on for a really long time for you, but it's time for you to, to finally take your pentacle and go. It, it take your investment, like start investing other places. Yeah, because you're not getting any reciprocity. There's five pentacles that are growing here. That's the lack. There's one pentacle here and one in your hand. So I feel like you're looking at this other pentacle. I feel like you're leaving because you're not going to put any more work into this. I feel like you're going to surprise yourself, though. We've got the the uh, page of cups here. I feel like you're going to surprise yourself. Look, the, the cup that she's pulling this this fish out of that cup is jumping out that the fish is jumping out of the cup so i feel like you're going to surprise yourself and decide i'm not going to deal with that anymore i feel like you're gonna you're gonna work this whole thing out because this person is can keep keeps taking advantage of you and this person is they're selfish and they're lazy and um they're someone who has um you know, there's they're someone who smack talks you when you're not around. When you're not in the room, they don't have your back. The Queen of Swords is in the reverse. This is someone who's a liar, someone who doesn't really care if there's any justice. They're just going to keep taking what you give them, and they're going to keep a stranglehold on you here. But look, death is creeping up on the Four of Pentacles. I feel like this is going to end in a way that you're not expecting because the Tower is here. Yeah. All right. I'm going to leave it right there for you, Leo. Thank you so much for being here and watching. I do appreciate you. I'm going to go for now. Take care. Bye-bye.